All right, let's see what they have to say about Christopher Columbus. <laughs> oh, no. Look at her face, God. though. It looks like someone, someone shoves something up I mean, her. she looks like a little... Look at her little body. It's all stiff. What's this little old guy over here? Oh, he's like a little boy, old man. What the fuck? He's like Frederick Carlson as a little baby boy. Oh, hey. What's up with the face? Oh, this you is bad. Look stressed. I'm just doing some research. I will say wholeheartedly so. that if you want to actually have, like, you know, like to have any degree of credit, make something that looks good. This immediately looks like shit. At least for saving me, you watch it and you're like, no, I'm engaged. There's writing. Right. It's you can pandering. see that there is effort put into the animation and the character acting and the writing. It's like, yeah, there's something here. There's something Even if here. I'm already kind of like laughing at it just because... I'm introduced to it as a premise of a Mormon show. Like, regardless of whether it's like a Rick and Morty ripoff, we're like, oh, it's a Mormon show. Lol, I'm probably already gonna laugh at it. No, it actually kind of had me engaged. Right, which is this the- This already, I'm like, this is so lifeless. These are like little, look at her eyes, look at his eyes. These are- That's terrible. People who worked on this did not care about characters, expression, emoting or a story to tell this is or obviously like propaganda right off the bat lizzie am i allowed to run downstairs real quickly and get a drink before you watch no. this is the drink water yes is it really yes you're a liar i'll be back okay <laughs> fine i guess he's leaving me with you guys for now okay I'll well okay okay he's he's coming back soon uh right boy blue Girl, pink. It's so obvious. It's so typical. I know. So this isn't Mormon Rick and Morty. Mormon Rick and Morty was actually far more engaging than whatever this is. This is already garbage. This is already mind-numbing me. Anyways, it's just us for now. I can read the chat. Um, Gojira, can Rishi read chat? I'm reading the chat. The art style is very corporate. Binary thinking. Never, oh god, the chat's going fast. Never did those closed captions for say, oh, I'm sorry. We don't often do closed captions. We don't usually do the captions because Saber gets distracted by subtitles. I'm wow, that was, that was really fast. I didn't even get a chance to read the chat yet. Too bad. We'll all right, I'm sorry, you. you guys. I'm sorry. That was all the time we had together. We're watching Prager you. I am having a good night, though. Yeah. Thank you. How'd you guess? Columbus Day. Spill the tea, Rishi. Oh, there's so much tea. Day. It's Next time, you guys, I promise. Here we go. Doing some research. When we'll Saber goes, you. take a pop a squat on the toilet. Next time, we'll spill the tea together. How dare you? Yeah. How'd you guess? So Columbus Day. Or Native You're always American. Just so <laughs> I want to hear what they have to say. Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. It's weird, right? Yeah, some of the teachers at my school really don't like Christopher Columbus and don't think he should have a holiday, but some do. The oh God! My teachers and even some kids got into Christopher Columbus about it holiday. Today. You finding any good info? Kind of, but it's real mixed. The side against Columbus says he was a really mean guy who spread slavery, disease and violence to people who would have been better off if he'd never gone to the new world. Ouch. I know, but the side from oh God, this the animation. stretchy, right? Yeah. Stop bullying Christopher Columbus. Him oh. says he was a really courageous guy who loved exploring, inspired generations, oh God, and spread hands. Christianity and Western civilization to people who really benefited from new ways of thinking and doing things. Oh, new ways man. of thinking and doing things. This uh -huh. is this, this is like fucking manifest destiny discussion, like which. Oh my God. That sounds really good. I know. What do you think? Which side that is right? That sounds awesome. I don't know. It seems really What do you think? Which side Both is sides right? Are just giving their opinions. It would be cool to hear from, you know, the source. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it would be. You want yeah. us to go talk yeah, to you Christopher Columbus? Dragon Tales, Dragon yeah. Tales. Come okay, on, guys. Good. It's time for I Dragon Tales. <laughs> I shit you not. For whatever fucking reason, for these shows, there's the Tuttle Twins. There is uh, Lilo and Layla. And then there's Saving Me, and every one of those shows have time travel mechanics in it. I don't know why.
right. Did you ever watch don't be alarmed, like, sir. Cyber Chase? Eh, don't worry no. about it. I'm wrapping no? up the wildest journey. Maybe that anyone's ever Well, it was a pretty good, like, educational kids show. I feel like this show so badly wants to be like, oh, we're an educational kids show. But it's like, no, I think you're a little less focused on education, maybe a little bit more on certain biases. I hate this stupid little banner at the bottom, by the way. It needs to go away. Yeah, it's Bacon. super annoying. Nothing it's like, you should have gone away by now. What? You from the future? How'd you get? Prager, you is experiencing severe censorship. I'm sorry, it's pretty fucking funny. It's like a fucking... We're experiencing technical difficulties and censorship. Go to PragerU.com slash watch. Oh, guys, everyone in the chat Either right now is talking about previous kids. I appreciate kind of had a hard you. time telling who's what lately. I'm Layla. He's my brother, Leo. And we need to learn about you. We live 500 years from now. And there's a holiday for He's you. He's really not it's shocked. really controversial and we're confused. Nice! I have a holiday? Well, caramba! I should! I've worked so hard to get to this point, and what I just accomplished was insane. I'm sorry, but this guy's like, I deserve a holiday. I'm like, Wait, no. What? I'm sorry. So, France in your pants. She says, I cannot believe. Oh, fuck it. Chat skipping past it. Uh. She says. I cannot believe the magic treehouse propaganda ripoff is justifying the genocide of my grandmother's people right fucking now. I, I, that's I, so funny. The, did you ever did you ever read the magic treehouse books? No. No. I guess you're too old. Yeah, I was like seventy nine at the time. You were Same. too busy playing video games. Will you tell us about your journey? Allow me to give Let's you a little all biographical information. It's so it pretty lazy animation. Okay. Like, again, I was puppet animation can be really Genoa good. Puppet animation can also My be was really boy. lazy and, and really shitty looking. most boys just did whatever their dads did. But I was different. Every day I would look out at the sea and wonder what was out oh. there beyond just what I could see. Okay. <laughs> I see what you did there. So you were mm. curious? Bad writing. See. And so as a teacher. I thought that Sorry. sound effect was from the show for a second. I was like, what the fuck was that? Teenager <laughs> and the young man, I That's did look at, look at his little. Look at Peter Pan over Red. here. Everything I could to cure my curious nature. I volunteered for all kinds of. The ropes on the right, they have little butts in the knots. Do you see them? Little butts in the knots? See the little, little butt. Like little butt cracks? <laughs> little butt cheeks. It's just a knot in the rope, you pervert. Crazy sea adventurers. <laughs> we see 14. what we want to wow. see, I guess. Yeah. And soon sailed to Iceland, Ireland, and Africa. I taught myself to read, learned many languages, and read everything I could about geography, astronomy, and exploration, including my favorite book. The Travels of Marco Polo. I thought Marco, that Columbus hello. was kind of a... Uh, I, I could have sworn he was, a, he was pretty bad at his job. Like, uh... Oh, whatever. Okay. Oh, it's a game we play in swimming pools. Never mind. Never mind? Marco Polo is the greatest explorer who ever lived. In fact, the trade <laughs> routes he wrote of and their clothing is briefly basically why I'm here right now. Pictures. What do you mean? Well, first, the writings of his amazing journey to the well, Marco Polo far East inspired trouble, me to be an explorer. I don't know shit then, about Marco Polo. Ago, when the... Didn't I think Marco Polo met up with uh, Genghis Khan? I'm pretty sure. So he he had a uh, the. Mongolians as an audience. Muslims conquered oh my God, Constantinople the and closed down the Silk Road. They made it impossible to get by land from Europe to Asia, and that opened up the desire and opportunity. Dude, kids to would not out care about this. By the sea. What was so important? I mean, about I remember from being Europe in elementary school and learning Leo, about history and like this, but definitely also like not really processing it. Hold on, I'm gonna show you another good intro. With how, okay. with how stale this fucking shit is, you know what's not stale? What? Awesome. No way! This show is so much fun. Oh, 
What did they just travel through there? Through a butthole? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's me on a Friday night. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> well, thank God it's only Monday. They have so much cool stuff in places like India, China, and the Spice Islands. Let me guess. The Spice Islands? Spices. Spice? <laughs> Smarty pants. This is boring. If you tried our Middle Ages European boring. food, you would know how much we need those spices. So you wanted to get spices from Asia and make a lot of money? No. This is like I something you show in school the and the kids are like, I so don't care. Nobody where I'm from had boring. ever seen before. I don't even care that it's but misinforming me. Money for I want to go home and I want to watch Arthur so and eat a peanut butter sponsor. jelly sandwich. Oh, I need man, to convince a really amazing. rich person to pay for my trip. Have you ever had ah, like so a, be persuasive like a and fried that for peanut butter and jelly sandwich where they like put it on the flat top and they, I guess it's not fried, but... Have you ever had like a grilled uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I had them at this food truck in San Francisco once before, and it was amazing. It was so fucking good. I'm sorry, Rishi. This is so fucking boring. I know. Why are we watching this? I'm like scrubbing through it, and they are still standing They're just there. standing around talking about boring More fake money. history. You get to explore, and they get spices and stuff from Asia to sell and make a profit. And these kids don't even sound like they have personalities. personalities. They're just little vessels. Correct. So since the must Isabella took a... You didn't deny that. Deny? No. Horses. People and human sacrifice... Some of the native folks from where I just left do those things regularly. So, these people <laughs> in your time who think it was a peaceful paradise... I see people being like, go back to the magic or, school bus. Or lying. Yeah, but what about slavery? You didn't deny that. Deny? <sighs> no. Slavery is as old as time and has taken place in every corner of the world. Therefore, it's Even okay. Amongst... No, I want... Yeah, I want to hear what he has to say here. Slay... Oh, okay, yeah, go met. on. Let's hear, Let's hear it. In... I... No. Slavery is as old as time and has taken place in every corner of the world, even amongst uh -huh. the people I just left. Uh -huh. Being taken as a slave is better than being killed, no? Uh, oh my uh, god! Oh. Is he literally saying like everyone was doing it and also so it's okay. slavery is cooler than getting killed? Holy wouldn't shit. You, wouldn't you rather be a slave than get killed? Fucking, I mean, why? Who thought this was a... I don't see this the problem. This is embarrassing. Well, I don't see a problem enslaving somebody if the, op if the, if the other option was killing them, which... Oh, by, by the, I think many people would disagree. But I think the, many people would disagree. I, I, I have to verify this, but I remember, like, there there's something... And maybe some folks in the chat can bolster me here, but... <laughs> There was something about oh, how if if uh, I'm pretty sure this was Catholicism at the time and that if a people, excuse me, if a people discovers about Jesus and God and can get saved, that they they can no longer be enslaved or something like that. And there was some island uh, that had a bunch of natives there. And Columbus was like, we cannot let them know about God or Jesus. We can't witness to them because if they do, we can't enslave them. So we won't tell them about God. So it's like, oh, so not only are you trying to enslave them, but by your own belief system, you're trying, to, you're basically saying, I'd rather you be enslaved to my will and then die and go to hell versus me telling you about God. And I, I could have sworn there was some royal who was like, Wow, Columbus, you're fucking evil. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, we're we're done with you. I'll have to verify that. But uh, I, remember, I remember reading about that. In our time, we view slavery as being evil and terrible. Ah, magnifico. That's wonderful. Oh, thank God it's done. Yeah, slavery is done. I... I am glad humanity has reached such a time. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Fuck you. You can't talk. Oh, well, I was doing it because everyone's doing it. But I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, thank God. Slavery's done. I'm so relieved. But not to the point of me doing anything about it in my fucking own time period. 
But you said you like, yes, the majority of human history is shitty. It's terrible. It's slavery and murder and all kinds of, of atrocities. It's terrible. Like, it, 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 when you look at human history, it is fucking awful. It like, is awful. Humans were fucking terrifying. And we're still pretty terrifying. But ooh. holy shit, we were even worse back then. Oh, God. Yeah. Far, 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 far worse than we are now. Human torture terrifying yeah torture was on the regular things that we were so okay to doing to each other torture was a fucking public spectacle for the longest time until it became a quote-unquote like state mandate and then they're like oh, maybe we shouldn't do this but back when it was maybe this is cruel yeah it is cruel so i don't know why you're trying to do fucking revisionism this for, is like, so weird this for... is very strange why why die on the hill for columbus he's not worth defending like he's He's a piece of shit, you know? It's like uh, Columbus Day is a stupid day, you know? It really is. The guy didn't do anything. He wasn't even the first person there. There are already people living there. I'm sorry. Like, I do I do think there are moments where people get a little bit hasty where it's like, okay, you know, yes, there is a lens in which we can view history and say there was no one who was a good person. Like, you can look at George Washington, and be like, yeah, he's a fucking terrible person. He was evil. And it's like, no, I wouldn't say he was evil. But, like, the guy was not perfect by any means. The majority of the founding fathers, if not all of them, were basically, you know, terrible. So it's, it's, a, it's something where I do agree that there's a degree, there is a level of understanding that there was a, a status quo culturally at the time of what was a norm, Okay. By today's standards, thank God, because today's standards means that we've progressed, which is good. I'm looking back and say that was not, you know, that's not cool, guys. I'm glad we're better now. But uh, to die on this hill trying to, like, exonerate Columbus? What the fuck are you doing? Seriously, it's so stupid. So strange. A very, yeah, from... very strange voice. I don't get it. 500 years in the future? How can you come here to the 15th century and judge me by your standards from the 21st century? For those in the future to look back and do this is, well, estupido. Are you calling me dumb? Certainly not. Below the belt. <laughs> I can tell you're a very smart young lady, but the idea of throwing away the past because of your present values is... That's the thing right now, he's probably like, what's the woman doing here? Why is she cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I... <laughs> Listen, uh, can I... I got an explanation. <laughs> and I'm thankful for the ancient Greeks, but they did lots of things that here in 1493, I do not agree with. They permit... <laughs> oh he's, he, he's pulling the card too now. Did lifestyles so and worship gods that, as a Christian, I think is very bad, but... That doesn't mean I shouldn't respect and honor all the incredible and amazing things they did. So good and bad is based on the time you live in? Which means that I guess 500 years from now, we statistically will be pieces of shit, I suppose. I mean, God, I, I mean, there's definitely some terrible behavior going on currently, but I don't know. This is a really weird trying to, uh, this, this is a really bizarre like exoneration they're trying to like put on themselves yeah i i don't get it that is a great question i told you i knew you were smart some things are clearly bad no matter when they happen but for other th like you know slavery things you know before you judge you must ask yourself joy. what this I'm, is ridiculous. This I, I, is so like apologist. I'm yeah. You know? I, I'm sorry, but to have this guy being like, uh, uh, hey, hey, hold on, don't don't be so quick to judge me for being a, a slave owner. It's like, well, what? What are you talking about? Are you trying to excuse yourself? Did the culture and society of the time treat as no big deal? Not everyone can time travel as you do and see how normal it becomes me can. very not normal. Some things are, some things aren't. Sounds complicated. It is, and so is life. And history can be too. If people in your time want uh, to celebrate you for being a perfect hero, then they are very mistaken. Only okay. my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is perfect. <laughs> and I hope to spread his teaching to uh, all the lands I find that don't know his name. 
That's so funny. Oh my god! It's so, it's so funny how he's like, "I'm not perfect." We're like, okay, he, we agree on that. And he's like, "But Jesus Christ but is Jesus perfect, Christ. And, and I will, and I will spread it through slavery." It's like, oh. I will, I will spread but the word of Jesus Christ. If people Christ in your time want to celebrate the guts I had to get this journey of wow, so much started, guts, because survive Jesus. it, and get back to tell about it, well. That seems pretty good for oh, any time and age. Fuck this I think you're right. Show. Thanks for answering our Fuck this. I <laughs> think you're right. I don't have a mind of my own. <laughs> like Jesus Jesus was fuck, fuck this. I, I, I what gets me so much is Jesus was fucking awesome. Like I I love, you know, Jesus for hanging with lepers, for washing the feet of poor people, for, you know, calling out rich folks. And then I just don't, I just don't man, whatever. I'm gonna go off my soapbox. But uh, it makes me embarrassed. I just feel secondhand embarrassment, even not being a Christian or Catholic or whoever. I'm like, this makes me just feel embarrassed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jesus wasn't cool with slavery. <laughs> Our questions, no. Mr. Columbus. You're a courageous explorer, and you've given me a lot like to think about. people like to use Jesus for Thank whatever you, You're welcome, agenda welcome, they kids. have. Now, let me lock you up and show you to the king <laughs> and queen say of leopards? Spain. leopards? Leopards, sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> Safe travels, my friends. Bye. Bye. Columbus sure had a crazy life. He made three more journeys across the ocean to the New World. And it seems like most of the negative reports about him come from people who were his competition for things. <gasps> I don't think Christopher what? Columbus was a villain. And maybe he wasn't a hero, but he sure did some heroic things that are definitely worth celebrating. And a lot of the okay, things we judge him for you. now are just normal in his time. This is such a fucking brand Columbus model. apologist. Come on. Like at least take your time and put it somewhere where it's a bit more like you know impactful. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're 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 part this of the is... Christopher Columbus <sighs> gang. He. You know, we, we, we can forgive the slavery. He, he a wasn't pretty... a hero, but he sure did some heroic things, and you I know, think that's pretty cool. I think Columbus is pretty, okay. he's pretty based. Time. You never know, Leo. Maybe some of the things we're told are fine today will be considered evil or crazy in the future. But oh being God. courageous and wanting to... It's so, so obvious. He might be evil in the future, so I'm just... Uh, Leo, hey, what if we just start enslaving some people again? Might as well. You know, if it's going to be all... What if this... all the... the gays and the trans are actually gonna be evil in the future <gasps> i know that's the thing that gets me so much you know it's so <laughs> obvious you know exactly what they're talking about it's like oh some of the stuff that we say is okay today might be evil in the future yeah it's like you're <laughs> so fucking wrong. obvious no it's so funny you fucking piece no, of shit they, they, you have no idea much of a mask off moment that is because it's it like, is uh, it's, it's like you know some of the things we're saying now might be evil in the future it's like wait the way that you condemn you trans mean, people the, the liberals and the gays uh, how it's Everyone, oh, it's, it's just so obvious. It's so fucking obvious, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, you know. To explore the world, God, I'm admiring so embarrassed to watch this. Can we never, can we never ever watch this again? Can you imagine this girl going to a bar? And no, she, and she's just talking she's to. She's a the teenager. Bar, she's talking to the bartender about Columbus. <laughs> Oh my god. She's not even there to drink. She's there to spread the good word of Columbus. And they kick her out. Oh, you gotta leave, kid. Oh my god, that was awful. That I was can't believe the woke killed Columbus. That's that that was bad. <laughs> I fucking hated that. That was so much worse than Mormon Rick and Morty. No one here will miss that pirate because I'm foxier than Foxy. Come on. Yeah, we're, he's gonna save us. Oh. <sighs> Verbalize, save us. Save us. Ever hear a guitar played like this? No, cause I'm the best. God figure you're like an hourglass. Verbalize would destroy Columbus. Thank you. Thank God. It's the hero that we need. We won't watch another no more. one. No, 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 no. Oh, we're not watching another one. I'm just curious. Okay, well, it's... Uh, oh my God. Uh, why they made a ton of these things? There's so many. C.S. Lewis, Martha Teresa, Martin Luther King. Uh, they've got some fucking balls. The furries will save us. I agree. Moses. Wait, hold on. Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. Parents, your elementary school kids are probably learning biographies, but here's the question. Oh, God. Which biographies are their teachers? <laughs> Michelle, Michelle Obama. Obama. <laughs> Choosing. Millions oh, of parents, God, uh... myself, are wondering whether their school's curriculum supports oh. their values. Well, now your children. You're their children. They don't have values. 
values in lessons that teach the truth about Western civilization. <laughs> capitalism. God, uh, capitalism. How does on an animated history adventure. Oh my Leo God. Layla oh God, it hurts. It hurts. It's, I can't. I can't do it. It's Saber. barely. It's barely. Hold on. Th th this. This might. I, I don't know why this is going. I oh, love. No. I love animation. I love history. <gasps> I can't believe this went on my radar. No. Adam Smith, who is the you know the father of capitalism, he wrote the Wealth of Nations. Paul Revere, Ronald, Ronald Reagan. This hurts. This Fine. Is hurting me. Uh, Rishi, I'll probably watch this on my own tomorrow during a stream. Then. What the hell? Do you not even like me anymore? Destroy you. You don't even care I'm about so, how I'm, I feel. I'm sparing you from this. Uh, no. <laughs> Victoria. Uh, Guys, help him. Benjamin Franklin. He needs to be saved. Saber needs to be saved. This is awful. I gotta say, I do love Benjamin Franklin because he was a complete slut. I support that. He, well, uh, you would support that, wouldn't you? I would. He he went to Paris. He basically as a fellow slut. As a fellow, as a fellow sluttery. I I mean that he. <laughs> this guy had a bunch of like French chicks running after him, being like, "Oh, Papa Frank, Papa Franklin." <laughs> So I see. France in your pants. Girl, I get you. You're awesome. She says, Liberty Kids palate cleanser, please. Please. Something better than this. Liberty I love Liberty Kids. Kids. I watched that as a as a child. I remember thinking it was entertaining. Never watched it. Never? Well, you probably grew up with cable, so that's probably why. Is this the theme song? What is this oh, I remember song. this part. Wow. With my own eyes. Oh, it's rapping time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hold on, that was fucking awesome. That was Liberty Yeah, Dora. yeah. Oh my god, the memories are flooding back. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. Oh, up. fuck you. Yeah. yeah, baby! America! <laughs> do you see, do you see oh my god, this did is so embarrassing. <laughs> did you see George Washington? <laughs> Where is he, show me? There he is. There you know, he is. You know, what pisses me <laughs> off is that apparently, apparently Lin-Manuel Miranda <laughs> watched this intro and then he wrote the did Hamilton. He? He oh, in, is that so? He wrote Hamilton afterwards. He stole it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> Damn. They made uh, George Washington pretty sexy, didn't they? <laughs> well, he was a They sexy. made him pretty fucking sexy. Look at the there fucking... Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Look at that. <laughs> he, 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 Look at that he, jawline. He can cross my Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> it was a, I started this audiobook. He's a chat. Nah, I mean, he's, he's a complicated Look man. Him. That's, Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, he's so complicated. Wow. He he was. He he could have easily been the next. I mean, look at him. He's so complicated and handsome and yeah. so animated. Where's my hot topic shirt of George Washington from Liberty Kids? They really love George. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this shit was real. Why is this like a fucking placemat? <laughs> It <laughs> just looked like a placement. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no! I forgot the school bus was stuck in my butt still. So. <laughs> no. George Washington sitting down. He's like, why am I? is my butt itchy? And then he looks down and he sees this. That's disgusting. Stop. You're, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have one for George Washington? 
no more. Please, I can't take this shit anymore. We're not watching it. I'm just curious. Mm. Marcus Aurelius, really? Yeah, there's oh, there's George Washington. There. Okay, the father of our country, huh? Let's see your face. <sighs> George Washington. Con Dude, who sits <laughs> like that? That's all we need to know. <laughs> Give me my iPhone. <laughs> our enemies have outmaneuvered us so badly that our men were- They're not even lip syncing anymore, lazy! I know, they're just like Scrambling little still images, it's so lazy. What do you mean, hardships? Well, when I was not much older than you, Leo, uh. I lost my father. Then yeah, All the Washington kids died very- men, at least, they died pretty young. Only a few years later, my older half-brother also died, and he was like a second father to me. That sounds very hard. It was difficult. Stop smiling. Then, when I was not much older than Layla, That's I amazing. no longer had the privilege of being able to attend school. So I left home and went to work as a surveyor. What's that? A surveyor uses mathematical tools. God, this is so stupid. When's the part where he becomes Giga Chad, George? Inspire people and give them confidence. I think that's another reason he's such a good leader. I think you're right. You ready to go home? No, not yet. I think we should visit him when he's older. You know, like on the dollar. I like that idea. Let's see. President. <laughs> Master Leo. Kill me. Lady Layla. <laughs> I always wondered if you'd come and visit me five years. Harsh to know what that I did not. <laughs> did not do what you thought I did. Share their desires. Okay. I think I kind of understand. Well, hold on. What? I should be made king after we won our war for independence. But I made it clear that I did not share their desires. Okay, I think I kind of understand. You see, Leo, throughout my life, at all the different moments where you and your sister have visited me, even though I have indeed held considerable influence over others, power has never been my goal. I merely desire to use my strengths for the benefit of others. <laughs> Give me a dollar. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, this is uh real quickly. Um oh. I thought I read that as Larry David for a second actually. <laughs> yeah. We we starting with fucking Abraham from the Bible, really? All right, well, okay, interesting. Here's the thing, kids, most kids won't care. This is the, where parents would care about the kids watching this, thinking it actually, like, you know, makes them smarter. Most kids don't care. I'm sorry. This is just dumb. What the fuck? What's the high-speed one? Hold on. Uh, Minichem Begins? An Anwar Sadat? Israel and Egypt's treaty? What the fuck? Is he holding a gun? No. What else we got here? Well, let me scrub to the bottom and we'll bounce. Jacob, the man who wrestled with God. Oh. <laughs> they got drunk and they wrestled a bit. Um. Interesting. All right. I might watch these later, like tomorrow.